In today's video, we will show you around the village of Oyster Bay, New York. Did you know that there were spy rings back in the 1700s? Well, one of the members of the founding family of Oyster Bay was a member of the Culper Ring. We will take you to his family house, which is now a museum, and give you some cool details. We will also walk around the downtown area and show you where you can have an ice cold beer in this town. Stay tuned and come along on this journey. What's up guys, CK Traveler here. So today we're in Oyster Bay and we're at the Raynham Hall, in downtown Oyster Bay. And just some history about the area. George Washington, the first president of our United States, before he was the president, he was a British general. And during the Revolutionary War, he had many spies in the British army. And a lot of those spies reported to him about British advancements and current news. And these spies really helped, you know, at the time it was called the rebel cause or the patriot cause. But now we would think of it as the American cause. Um, but there was a whole big spy trail in Long Island from Setauket to Oyster Bay. And they gave a lot of secrets to George Washington and the Continental Army and enabled them really to have a lot, you know, strategic... Um, you know, strategic moves and, you know, defeat the British in the Revolutionary War. So we're at the Raynham Hall in Oyster Bay. I'm just going to take a screenshot here. A very colonial building. You can see it has the old American flag with the 13 colonies. You can even see it has the, the general with the, uh, the long type of hair that everybody had in those days. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna try to see if it's open. Um, everything, a lot of things are closed now because of the coronavirus, but just gonna read this to you. So this is a Raynham Hall, it was built in 1740. It was used by British as Colonial Simcoe's headquarters, or Colonel, sorry. Information from here led to Major Andre's capture after his visits, home of Robert Townsend, Washington spy. So Robert Townsend, was a spy for General Washington at the time. Um, I think there's actually um, a show about this on Netflix. I can't remember the name, but we'll post it later so you can maybe check it out. It's very interesting. Um, it's a very difficult time. You know, in those days, I guess, what we thought of as Americans, to the British, they were thought of as rebels. Um, but eventually, the rebel, or the patriot, you know, won the war, and today we have this great country of America. Um, so, just very interesting how history comes out, you know. You know, if America didn't win the war, what would happen? Would America still be the same? Would it still be a British colony, or would it be part of Canada? We don't know. So, we're gonna go in. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to see if we can get in. So, so just wanted to provide a little bit more information about Robert Townsend and about Oyster Bay. Um, Robert Townsend used the code, name, the code name Samuel Culper Jr. and he wrote coded messages to Washington uh, and other members of the Culper spy ring to convey the information he gathered. So he was using a pseudonym or fake name to supply this information uh, to General Washington. You see right down here, Robert Townsend, alias Culper Jr., gathered information about British troop movements. So this was key to, um, you know, Washington and the revolutionary, uh, the rebel cause to, I guess, win the war. And they had spies all across New York City and the New York region. New York City, Oyster Bay, Setauket on Long Island, Connecticut, and Westchester County. You see that? It's amazing.
the Oyster Bay Brewing Company. I'm gonna zoom out here and get you a good shot of it. Oyster Bay Brewing Company. What's up guys? So we just went to the Spy Museum in Oyster Bay and we came across this really big interesting uh, statue of uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Full name Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th President of the United States. They call him the Rough Rider. You can see here there's a plaque here. Theodore Roosevelt the Rough Rider statue. Dedicated October 29, 2005 by the Rotary Club of Oyster Bay. Really nice statue. You can see he has a little American flag and a little knife on him. And this is what you see when you come into the town of Oyster Bay. Very interesting statue, we just wanted to show you that. Did you know that Theodore Roosevelt was born in New York City, but also came to embrace the cowboy lifestyle? Yes, it's true. He was also very fond of nature. So we also wanted to mention that Theodore Roosevelt's former home on Sagamore Hill is located about 10 minutes drive from the downtown area. Unfortunately, we couldn't visit today because it was closed. If you like history, it's definitely a site worth visiting. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Take care.